forward. Okay, try to slow down. <laughs> hey, slow down. Yep, there you go. All right, good. Well, remember your break. Well, that didn't take long. Hello and welcome to our bike riding adventure video. And this video, we're gonna go through the experience you guys are gonna get to share with us of my son learning how to officially ride a bicycle. Are you excited? Yeah. We've got the Guardian bicycle behind us. This is going to be his first real bike. And uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing of this, but I just wanna spend just a couple minutes to set the stage on his experience, uh, his size and so forth, as you guys perhaps are looking for a Guardian bike as well. Uh, you'll be able to uh, watch how he rides this thing and see how he fits on it. So let's start out with sharing the dimensions because I saw on the Guardian website when we were looking for this bike, we set up, um, there's sort of like a uh, configurator for to, to figure out which size you need. So he is about four and a half, uh, 44 inches high height and uh, his leg length is 17 inches. So we landed with the 16 inch bike. And uh, just a little bit hist of history, uh, some of the problems we had with uh, the pedal bicycles that he has, um, but then history, he started really young on a Strider balance bike and he did a really, really good job. You loved that bike, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> it was a fun one. <laughs> um, he did a really good job balancing uh, when he was uh, just really little. I think he was just a little over two, I feel like, and we were uh, cruising around. He was ripping around parking lots and trails and really um, we skipped the entire stage of using uh, training wheels. So we felt confident that he was good at balancing a bike. So we went out uh, when he got a little bit bigger and I found this one uh, used. Uh, it was a pretty inexpensive bike. Uh, this was probably about a year ago at least. But what we found is it was very, very heavy, like ridiculously heavy for the size. I can't believe how heavy this thing is. And uh, it just, he was crammed on this thing where as the handlebars came a little bit, maybe too close to him, and then his knees were coming up too high and there's, the ergonomics were really goofy. In order to have his feet down uh, to touch the ground, then it just felt like the seat maybe had to be too low, um, which then brought the pedals really high and then the handlebars being close. It was just a very, very awkward bike. So uh, we never did have training wheels on this one. We did try a, a little bicycle ride. Uh, the first thing I did is, is actually showed him how the pedals work. So I would hold up the bike and we would just go around carefully with the pedals and he's going to demonstrate now and we said watch your fingers in the spokes and we said watch your fingers in the chain and so once he understood kind of what the pedals did how it would move the rear tire uh, then i put him on the bike and i lifted the back and let him move his feet around to kind of understand what was happening and what happens if you pedal backwards it stops <laughs> that's right so he figured that out pretty quick and so i was able to hold him up a little bit from uh, the back of his shirt and the back of the seat and kind of push him around because he had the balancing down, but uh, but the pedaling thing, you know, we were just learning that. So again, I learned that as a trick to uh, again, show him how the pedals work like he's doing now very, very carefully because we don't want to pinch fingers anywhere. And then um, put him on the bike and kind of hold up the back end, let him pedal. And then stage three was sort of like push him around and help him pedal. So. Um, we're going to switch bikes. Let me set this one down. Be careful. And then we graduated to this bike. So we thought, um, mom and dad thought this bike would work really well because this had the option of going to, uh, like a Strider type of balance bike. Uh, the pedal, the pedals would fold in and, uh, he used it as a balance bike and, and, and the ergonomics seemed great as a balance bike. Uh, he actually, actually loved this one. But then when we put the pedals out, we found, uh, again, the same deal where the seat felt too low for to have a foot on the ground and then the pedals came really, really high. Now the handlebars were further away, but um, if you look at the range here, I'm going to clip this back on. Hang on. If you look at the range of this right here, there just, it, it doesn't, um, there's not a lot of range as far as where to pedal. So we found that again, if you see how high this is as to where the seat was, um, his legs were just really, really, really high up. So what I needed to get him into was a bigger bike 
of course, like the 16 inch bike, but I also needed something that had good er ergonomics. And so I did some research and I ran across this Guardian. And uh, what this supposedly has is a lower center of gravity. Um, it's gonna have a little wider wheelbase. It's gonna supposedly be like a nice transition from a balance bike to be able to use a, a pedal bike. So we're excited to see what the ergonomics look like of this. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and then we're gonna take you guys outside for the first ride adventure. So essentially the entire frame and the wheels and everything are assembled out of the box. The only thing that we really had to put on were the uh, pedals and the handlebars. The other thing that is a key that you wanna know is the very first thing you wanna do is you'll rotate this around because you'll see that this brake uh, cable up here, which we'll talk about in a second, is kind of wrapped around the front side. So when you pull it out of the box, you rotate this guy around 180 degrees, then you put on your handlebar and it does come with two different seats that it looks like one seat post uh, is a little bit smaller. So if you need to go a little bit lower, I think this should work for us. So we just kept the seat post in here. Uh, you just basically put the uh, pedals on, which was uh, quick and easy. And uh, it's something, oh, and then one other thing, there's a little stop here, a little rubber stop that uh, essentially stops it from swinging all the way around. So just helps protect the cable. Um, it does have these sure stop brakes. And uh, I was trying to figure these out when I unboxed it because <laughs> that was one of the big things about the bike that really captured my attention. I know that um, it does not have brakes when you pedal backwards, um, but this is gonna be more like the bigger bikes that he'll eventually get into when he starts riding. It'll be the, um, uh, you know, the mountain bike style where you're pedaling backwards. Uh, we did bring the other two bikes out in case we want to do a little comparison between those just on how he fits and so forth. So you're probably going to see him walking around with a couple other bikes right now. But um, so this is going to freewheel backwards, which is cool because this is more of the, uh, like I said, mountain bike style for when they get older, they're going to be used to this. And um, he does have a little power, uh, power wheels, ATV type of thing and um, that actually has handlebar brakes on it. So he's used to operating the uh, handlebar brakes. So I think that this will be um, kind of, you know, this will be intuitive for him to figure out. The sure stop brakes are pretty cool. What happens is when you squeeze the brake, it activates the rear tire. And then there is a, one of the brake pads on here, uh, as it catches the rim and uh, you apply pressure or they start squeezing it, this will move uh, forward this way. Once it does that, it activates this cable, which runs to the front of the bike and uh, activates the front wheel. So the, you're not going to have any issue. Uh, one thing I didn't like about the other bikes that I was seeing is it was just, uh, some of them had the reverse, well, most of them had a reverse pedal um, motion to stop the rear wheel. Then they had a front brake. Um, and because he was used to the handlebar brake that I mentioned with his little ATV, I was afraid that he would try and activate the front wheel more often than not, possibly hit some sand or something and, uh, and wipe out. We wanted to avoid that. That's how it was turned on to the Guardian bike. So uh, this thing looks really cool out of the box. The, uh, again, not much to put together. So I kind of cut right to the chase and wanted to show the bike to you guys. So we are going to uh, pump up the tires here to the recommended PSI. We're going to put his helmet on and we're going to attempt a bike ride. Fingers crossed. All right, dude, are you ready to try your new bike? Yes. All right, let's get it down. Very first try. We still have tags on here. We'll take the tags off later. We're gonna give it a shot here. Uh, let's sit on it and go a try height here. Um, you're able to touch the, <laughs> he's like, get your hand off my new bike, dad. Uh, wow, okay, that's a really good size. You're able to touch and balance. And here's your brakes, okay. Now put your feet on the pedals. Let's try that. Oh, I suppose kickstand, see. Dad doesn't even know what he's doing here. All right, so you can uh, touch the ground here. I think this is a perfect size. I got you. Okay, put your feet on the pedals. How is it? Seems to be, uh, I like the longer wheelbase. And then I'm keeping it so I'm not torn on 
Was that fun? Yeah. All right, should we try again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get let me get mic'd up here again. Got to have a free hand so I can hang on to you. All right, so you can position your pedals. You know how to do that. See these spin free. So now you put the foot, your left foot on this one here. Okay. And then you push off. Push push off. There you go. All right, turn towards mom. We, we could raise the seat a little bit if we need to. <laughs> oh, okay, try to slow down. <laughs> slow down. Yep, there you go. All right, good. Well, remember your break. Well, that didn't take long. Remember, well, dad's not quite ready to... Well, that, didn't take long. that didn't take long. Okay, let's let's test your brake again. Okay, well you don't need to squeeze it that hard. I know. All right, let's go back towards mom. Dad's getting a workout here. All right, can you slow down just a little bit? Oh, no, don't, no, a little bit. You don't need to squeeze it that hard. <laughs> okay, let, let's try a slow. Let's let's go slow. Okay, okay. Now squeeze it lightly. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, remember. Yep, you got to get your wheel. Oh, see, now you're just cheating. Okay. <laughs> Okay, slow down just a little bit. No, nope, without. <laughs> boys will be boys. All right guys, quick update here. Same day, we are going for our second ride. Um, he's been asking all afternoon to take his new bike for a ride. So apologize for the wind here, but we are on our little e-bike here so I can film and uh, follow him. And uh, he's picking this thing up right away. Um, seems to be getting much better with the brakes. Hasn't quite figured out yet how to take off on it by himself. But uh, pretty much being a rock star riding this thing. And I definitely want to give a lot of credit to this particular bike because of the design of it. It uh, really, he just picked it up so, so quickly. And uh, so good job to Guardian with this. I will keep you guys posted, uh, but this is update day one, bike ride number two. guys so a quick update here as he's pedaling down some of these hills we are asking him to coast with his feet and uh, monitor the brakes and so he's doing a really nice job at that otherwise he would have to be focusing on pedaling backwards and instead he's just kind of coasting relaxing and squeezing the brake a little bit so overall this bike has been phenomenal I cannot believe how fast he's picked up biking with this thing and it's just been awesome I'll keep you guys posted as we talk soon thanks
problem is the cats can't get in here. All right, we're filming. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Ow!